Welcome to MTV Somali Channel's Nightly News Bulletin. If you're new to us, please don't forget to subscribe in order not to miss out on our brand new nightly news round in Somalia. In today's headline, Somalia restoring diplomatic ties with Kenya after nearly six months. Budget pressures spur Somalia to resolve political crisis. Prime Minister Roble speaks about the security of the upcoming elections in the country. And some roads that were closed during the recent unrest in Mogadishu have reopened. We start with, Somalia said on Thursday it was restoring diplomatic ties with neighboring Kenya after it cut relations in December accusing Nairobi of meddling in politics. The move comes just hours after Qatar's envoy to the foreign ministry visited Nairobi and met with President Uhuru Kenyatta, delivering a message from the Emir of Qatar. Now diplomatic relations are restored, Abdurrahman Youssef, Deputy Information Minister, told a news conference in Mogadishu, saying Qatar had helped in the process. There was no immediate comment from the Kenyan government, though State House in Nairobi tweeted on Thursday afternoon that President Uhuru Kenyatta met with Emir Sheikh Taman bin Hamad al Thani of Qatar and received a special message from him. The Somali government announced in late December that it had cut ties with Kenya, and then ordered the Kenyan ambassador to leave Mogadishu, and recalled its ambassador in Nairobi. Somalia will expedite elections in a bid to quell instability and coax donors into releasing funds needed to pay the nation's security forces and other state employees, Foreign Minister Mohamed Abdrizak said. The Prime Minister is scheduled to meet representatives from political parties and other interested groups in July to agree on the voting process, Foreign Minister Abdrizak said. The authorities will then announce dates for parliamentary and presidential votes. It could happen within 90 days from when they set a date, Abdrizak said in a May 3rd interview. Somalia is proceeding with the elections after President Mohamed Abdullahi reversed a decision to extend his mandate without holding a vote as scheduled in February. The planned delay stoked violence in the Horn of Africa nation, which has been battling an Islamist insurgency for 15 years, and led the US to threaten sanctions. Somalia is dependent on donor funding, with domestically generated revenue contributing less than half of its annual budget. The government has received less than half of the 100 million euros, 120 million dollars, the EU pledged in a three-year budget support program that ends this year. The government has warned there's a risk of increased unrest if funding gaps leave it unable to cover its wage bill. If the government is not able to continue to pay salaries to civil servants, and particularly the security forces, that could create enormous damage, said Minister Abdrizak. We are in talks to get those funds released. The EU didn't immediately respond to an email seeking comment. Somalia is struggling to rebuild after two decades of civil war and amid an insurgency by al Shabaab, an al Qaeda linked group that the federal government is fighting with the help of neighboring states, the US and the EU. While the group is concentrated in the Middle Shabelle and Lower Shabelle regions, they have recently increased attacks on the capital, Mogadishu. Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble has said that neutral forces will provide security for the upcoming elections in the country. The Prime Minister made the remarks during a meeting with members of the international community. Prime Minister Roble said the forces that will wait for the election will be credible and neutral and will always work in the rule of law. Speaking about the challenges so far ahead of the elections, he said the September 17 agreement should be finalized, following the recommendations of the Baidoa conference. The Union of Candidates and other sections of the opposition politicians welcomed the appointment of Prime Minister Roble as the head of administration and election security. The Prime Minister of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Ahmed Hussein Roble, accompanied by the Committee for the Resolution of Crisis in Mogadishu, inspected the reopened roads this afternoon after the troops returned to their bases following the agreement reached yesterday. Areas visited by the Prime Minister included the Miranayo, Seagale and Barmuda areas. An agreement was reached last night to reopen the roads and remove opposition forces from the capital and return to their bases. That's it for our nightly news roundup, don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss more bulletins from MTV Somali channel.